In terms of user experience, I think Codex and Cloud Code are pretty similar. I will say though, Cloud's permission system drives me crazy. And the fact that I always launch it with dangerously skipped permissions is an unnecessary risk, but I just hate how they do not save these settings. Codex recognizes when it's dropped into a Git tracked repository and is permissive by default is really nice. Outside of that, the terminal UI is fine. I think Cloud Codes is a little bit better, but it doesn't make much of a difference. So let's talk about features. Cloud Code has more features. You can create your own sub agents. You can create your own hooks. Got a lot of configuration. You won't see any options like these over in Codex, but I'll let you in on a little secret. The cursor team once asked me, what features do we need to add to cursor or cursor CLI to get you back from using Cloud Code? My feedback was this. I learned from Cloud Code that I really don't care about features at all. I just want the best agent that I can ask for what I want and get it most reliably. And so at the end of the day, Cloud Code has cool features. Cursor does too. I use them sometimes just because, but I really don't miss them when I don't have them. All I find I need is an agent and a good instructions file. I've got a whole other video and blog post on writing a good agents.md or agent instructions file. And that's it. Speaking of instructions, one thing that really annoys me about Cloud Code is they don't support the agents.md standard, only cloud.md. So whereas tools like Cursor, Codex, Builder.io, et cetera, all support agents.md, Cloud refuses to. It's really annoying to me to have to create a separate file for Cloud when I already have one that basically every other tool respects. 